devotion, today being a Thursday. We thank God for a new day. We thank God for the gift of life. We thank God for the good health. Yes, you may be there and you may not be feeling well. It is also a reason to thank God that you are alive. Just thank God because you know he is visiting you. And today he's speaking to you and reminding you that even in your sickbed, God cares for you and he will heal you. He will restore your health. May you have peace and also joy that comes from God. That joy that is not limited by our circumstance or our situation. That joy that only comes from God. That even in our difficult times, we can experience the joy of the Lord. Be at peace and always start this day with a thankful heart because we know that God is in control of our lives. Brothers and sisters, it is a reason to thank God and always be joyful as the word says, rejoice, I say again rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord because God has remembered you. Rejoice in the Lord because God cares for you. Rejoice in the Lord because God is thinking about you. Rejoice in the Lord because you know you are not alone. He is with you. Nothing makes us joyful like knowing that we are not alone. Yes, people have supported us before, have walked with us before, but reached a point and they got tired and left us. But God will never leave you. God will never leave us. God will never leave us as a country. God will never leave us as a family. God will never leave us as a church. Remember, we are not alone. You are not alone. I am not alone. Let us trust in him. He who cannot leave us. He who loved us before we loved him. Who died for our sins even before we knew him. Him who knows us and knew us before we were born. He who had a future and a hope for us before we were born. He who has the blueprint of our life. Let us thank him. Let us rejoice because we know we are under his plans. We are under his plans. He cares for us. He has planned for us. He has good plans for us. He cares so much for your family, for that business, for that career. Yes, even in difficulties. When we are looking for financial breakthrough, when we are struggling financially, when we are struggling mentally, at that time, at that moment, he wants to remind you, may you have the peace of mind because God cares. He will provide for you in a divine way. He will raise you from one level to another. He will take you to places. Yes, it may seem like a dream, but God does miracles. Yesterday, we were learning that he delights in performing miracles so that he may show his power not only to us, but also to other people. He will come through for you. He will come through for your family. He will come through for us as a church. He will come through for us as a country. May we have peace. May we be joyful and have that peace of mind that yes, it is beyond human understanding that you can be at peace and joyful regardless of the situation, regardless of the circumstance we are in. We are continuing with our theme this month, the theme of prayer. Talking with God, communicating with God, listening to Him, talking to Him and also hearing His voice. We know that when we go before God in prayers, He tells us that we may go we should go in faith, trust, knowing that he hears and also he answers. We should also persist in prayer. But today we also want to learn that God has the best answer to our prayers. He not only answers, but God has the best answer for our prayers. I don't know what kind of answer you are waiting to receive from God. Are you limiting God in a specific way because you, are, you want a specific thing at a specific time? As human beings, we know that we are good in planning. We are good in planning and also we are very good in asking that we know this is how we should ask and we plan how we will ask and how we can convince someone to give us what we need, exactly what we need in a way in or in a manner that we want at the time that we feel is the best for us. But God has the best answer for our prayers. His answer may not be our answer. His answer may not be according to our desires, but it is the best answer, not only to him, but also to us. It is the best answer for us 
It is the best answer for our situation. It is the best answer for our careers. It is the best answer for our desires. In John 15, verse 7, I'll start from verse 5. These are the words of Jesus Christ to his disciples. And he was telling them, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a, you are like a branch that is thrown away and with us. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. If you remain in me and my words remain in you. That if we abide in Christ, walk in his ways and his words remain in us, the word of God remains in our heart that we meditate in the, about the word of God, that we think about the word of God, that we speak about the word of God, that we testify of his word, then we are right, we are right with God, walking in line and aligning ourselves in God's will. Whatever we ask, he says, it will be done for us. Have you been praying to God to do something for you, for your family, for your marriage, for your children, for your grandchildren, for your parents or also brothers and sisters? Have you been praying in line with God? Have you been looking for an answer? Have you, do you feel like God is delaying to give you an answer? God reminds us that God has the best answer to our prayers. Jesus Christ reminds us that we are not only supposed to pray, but let us pray knowing that we are abiding in him. As Christians, we know that we are the branches and is reminding us that we may abide in him. As we do these prayers, as we take our petitions before God, let us make sure that one, we are abiding in him. Number two, and his words remain in us. His words, God's words, his commands, his instructions, his promises, his desires remain in us. That he's influencing our thoughts, he's influencing our prayers, we do not just ask, but ask according to his will. We do not just ask, but ask according to his word. He reminds us that we should not pray selfishly. He reminds us that we should not pray with the wrong motives. He reminds us that we should pray when we are right with him, that we should not live a sinful life and go before him and ask for requests and expect an answer from him. Why? Because he has the best answer to our prayers. We are reminded that all answers come from God. He is the supreme. He has the supreme authority towards our life and also our desires. Regardless of our situation, regardless of our circumstances, he reminds us that we cannot without him. That's why Jesus Christ reminded us that let us abide in him because alone we will fail. Let us abide in him because alone we will not be able to overcome the challenges of this world. He reminds us that we not only abide in him, but let also his words be in us. Let us, let the word of God be in us. We cannot have his word in us if we do not read the word of God. We cannot have the word of God in us if we do not meditate about the word of God. Which word are you meditating today? Which word, which verse, which chapter are you meditating today? Because he answers our prayers through his word. And he reminds us that the best answer he has for us, a good answer than us, we cannot without him. Brethren, we are reminded, unless we abide in him, our answers, whatever we ask, will not be given. Unless we abide in him, that's the only way we can be able to receive from him. We cannot without him. Our families cannot stand without Christ. Yes, we may start families. Yes, we may start businesses. Yes, we may start our careers in a very good foot. But without him, without abiding in him, there are chances of failure. 
without him there are chances of struggle but with him whether struggles come whether storms come he reminds us that we will stand because his answers are best his answers are better than our answers we are reminded that through prayer we receive what god has for us in his store through prayers we can receive what god has in store for us through prayer you ask and you receive that's why he reminds us ask and it shall be given unto you how do we ask we only ask through prayers we only ask by going to him in prayers and reminding him of his promises your blessings are there your salvation is assured your healing is assured your blessings are there with god all he needs us to do is to ask all he needs us to do is to knock and to seek are we praying are we seeking are we knocking are we asking because god is waiting for us reminding us that that prayer that answer that blessing that breakthrough that thing you have been asking as long as you abide in him and his word remains in him then he will do it according to your prayers why because you will not just ask but you will ask in line with his desires do not limit god at times we limit god at times we feel like this is what we need as an answer you are reminded he is reminding us today that his answers are the best answer he has the best answer to our prayers don't limit god that this is what i want now that this is what i need now that this is kind of answers i am expecting from you yes it may be a good thing but god has a better thing than what you are as you are asking yes it may be a good family you are asking but god wants a better family for you a better job a better career a good way in doing things do not limit god in value in timing yes he is not limited by our time he is not limited by time all time all years all days belong to him do not limit god by giving him ultimatums because god cares god knows god has the best answer and that good answer that best answer to your prayers can only be received at the right time can only be received at the right place can only be received at that time that you will allow god to work upon upon your prayers yes let us be like christ that when he was praying that if it was possible that god may remove the cup before him he still remembered that your will may your will be done that yes this is my desire this is the answer that i would want now but again i want to submit myself to your will that may your will be done god wanted to glorify himself and also to glorify christ through his death and his resurrection you may be going through a difficult time and yes you want that answer you want your prayers to be answered instantly but god reminds you today that he wants to glorify himself in that situation in that circumstance in that storm you are in god wants to glorify himself he want to perform a miracle that he may show his power and might to people he want to show you and also help you that you may taste of his goodness even at a time that may feel like is impossible god wants to give you the best answer to your prayer hold on do not give up because god will answer your prayer as you pray don't just ask for an answer but ask for god's will to be done in your life as you pray for your family don't just ask for a family don't just ask for a peaceful family but a godly family a family that will be glorified and that will glorify god because god will come and make you what he desires for you as a family what he desires for you as a person what he desires for us as a church what he desires for us as a country because his answers are the best for our prayers yes we have our desires 
yes, he wants to meet us at the, desire, at, at the desires of our hearts. He wants to meet us at the point of our needs. But his answers may not be our answers. His thoughts are not our thoughts. His desires are not our desires. His plans may be different from ours. His directions may be different from our direction. May we choose to submit to his will and seek his answer because his answer is the best answer to your prayers. His answer is the best answer to your requests. He has the best answer to your troubles. He has the best solution to those problems you have, you are going through. Yes, they may not go as you have planned them to do. You may not answer them as you are praying. But as you pray, just ask God, your will, your will, God, be done. This is my desire, yes. But I know that your plans are better than mine, that your answer may be better than mine. Give me what you desire. Give me what is best for me, for my family, for my children, for my career, for my church, and also for my country. God has the best answer to your prayers and my prayers. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.